No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? This your big homie, MC Ronski, and I am back, man. Um, what do I actually want to talk about it? I want to talk about it. This right here, it says, FBI. No, it's not for Federal Bureau of Investigations. No, I'm not Vlad TV. Although I got mentioned by a dude, but in any event. No, it's not Female Body Inspector. It's not Flyboy Incorporated. It's fuck being ignorant. And what I mean by that is, man, us as black folks, we just a little bit too ignorant. And, and look up the word ignorant before you go to saying, hey, man, the dog just called me dumb. No, I didn't call you dumb. There's a difference between being dumb and being ignorant. We just not in the know. And I ain't going to say we because I know everything about me. But you got people out here that don't even know simple stuff like their credit score. You cannot go through life and not know nothing about you. You know what I mean? And that's the problem. That's what's keeping us all messed up. You know what I'm talking about? And, and what I mean by that is, how are you walking through life and you're in your, I'm going to say mid-20s, mid to late 20s, because really you should learn this stuff back in your teens. You should le start learning everything about you. And that's only, really the only way you're going to pretty much succeed. You know what I mean? But yeah, how you don't know your social security number? That's something that goes without saying. And if you don't know everything about you, how can you, how can you, how can you advance if you don't know nothing about yourself? For real, for real. We need to talk about this. And what I'm trying to get at is people wondering why there's so much failure amongst our race. Because you got people, they just not trying. They, they not really trying. You got a lot of people that's not trying. And I'm finna say this right fast because... A lot of things are going on in Milwaukee right now, and people are not even taking notice, for real, for real. G. Gray, UBL, uh, uh, the Battle League, Underground Battle League, dude, you're doing it, for real. I don't know if you know what you're doing, but you're doing it. You And when I say you building, you building for real, for real, man. And I'm talking about, like, I, oh, man, and I just looked at a battle today. It was C-Word play. It escapes me. But, yeah, in any event, it's in another city, in another state. And who's standing there? You. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, you are like, you you building something. And you working. You you working seriously hard. King Kamanzi. You know, I'm, I'm and I'm saying these things and I'm throwing this stuff out here because it's a lot of stuff going on and just people are really kind of like ignoring it. Like, like it's not happening. People need to understand. The fire water thing, King Kamanzi is on to something. Do y'all know that 50 Cent made... 300 some odd million off the power drink that he made or, or he endorsed. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was his drink or he manufactured it. But this man, King Kamazi, is manufacturing a drink. Do y'all understand how big that is? No, you don't because your minds are not, your mind don't have the capacity for it. And I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth when, when you've just been so programmed to nothing. You know what I mean? And it makes it hard for people like us. And I'm going to say yes, us, because I'm a very hard worker and I see things happening and I want them to happen for me and I want them to happen for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because see, you need to understand something. The, the more of us that are successful, the less of us would be miserable. You know what I'm saying? So if if we get like 10 people all just blow up and, you know, of course, you got, you know, Jay-Z and Dr. Dre, they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Billionaires. They did what they supposed to have did. But you need to understand something. They didn't just get that. Dr. Dre didn't get all that money from making beats. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z didn't get all that money from <laughs> from his lyrics, from his music. That man made some crazy investments. You need to understand that. And I don't know if y'all seen it, but LeBron James was standing with a white dude when he very first started. And I don't know if y'all seen this or not, but I would like to look that up. This dude was saying, in a few years, I'm going to make this man very rich. Because he was showing him how to invest his money. Unfortunately, we don't have that. A lot of us just don't have it. And it makes it hard for people who are, who are trying to do it, who are trying to get it, to come around because we still love our people. But then, you know, you end up like... <laughs> Man, rest in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Nipsey. You know what I'm talking about? You got to... In situations like that, and it's sad because you need to understand something. Open your eyes, especially if you're making money. If you're making money, everybody is suspect. And, and people can, you know, say God ain't real and the Bible is a bunch of fairy tales. But the realest thing ever been quoted is money is the root of all evil. And you need to understand that. And when I say money is the root of all evil, to all evil I mean... You and your big brother can be sitting there and you got 
a gajillion dollars on the table. You best believe the thoughts are running through his head. I don't care what you're talking about. I don't care who you're saying it is. I don't care what type of history y'all got. You need to understand something. Everybody ain't your friend when you are on success. When you are, you can even, you can just be looking. I know guys that done got murdered just because they look like they had something. You know what I'm talking about? So you got to be 100% on your game, for real. So if you making money, you got to be careful. And what I mean by being careful, if you got somebody tripping on you because you paying guys for security, get away from them. Because they mad, because they can't do it. See, they can't get that in. They can't slip it in on you. Because you got security. You got people there with them things ready to blow somebody down. And that's how I would travel. I would not, I would never take for granted if I got a million dollars. Even in the situation that I'm in right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to mention that. But if I got a million dollars, you think I'm going to come around and all these people, yeah, man, yeah, dog, you the bomb, man, yeah, dog, I love you working, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. You think I'm going to be sitting there without people there to knock down an assailant? Come on, man. And like I said, if somebody got a problem with that, I don't want them people around me, period. But let's just go back to what I was talking about, being in the know. We all got to get in the know. We all got to start knowing. We all got to start knowing ourselves. We got to start knowing each other. And, and really, if you, if you do that, it'll be more successful people. Like I said, you got to know these things. Look, I know everything about me. I know everything from my birth date to my address to my phone number. I'm talking about if I walk in the bank and I got to pay rent and stuff like that and I'm withdrawing some money, I don't even got to, they don't even got to look up my, my account number. I, I, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to know all these things, for real. So I'm saying that to say this, man. I commend and salute the brothers that's doing what it is that they're doing. And I'm letting y'all know right now the reason why they're in the position that they're in and you're in the position that you're in is probably because you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hoping that before y'all lash out and do something crazy, you try to get in the know. Because I'm telling you, not knowing makes you miserable. Because now you don't know why you're not getting this loan. You don't know why you can't get a job. You don't know why these people not calling you back. They're not calling you back because you don't know. You don't, they, they probably looking like, hold on, man. You know your credit score has to be at a da 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 So, I, ain't no use even calling him back. So now you're like, oh, man, dog, I, I, I tried to get the money, man, and they just won't. You tried to get the money. <laughs> Come on, man. And it's a lot of things that y'all don't know. Here's another thing that y'all don't know. Y'all do know that, well, I'm going to let y'all know right now. You have to be in the know when it comes down to the music business. You can't be in the music business trying to break into a billion dollar business with a B and you can't take a $150 hit. You, you spend $200 on a show that's, and then you got the nerve to charge $30 at the door. <laughs> Stop playing, man. And then you go to acting like, oh, man, you're, you're, you're all frantic because you really need this $200 back. You was hustling. Nah. You got millionaires spending hundreds of thousands just to get the plug, just to get the people, just to get their people known and not making a dime off of it. And you can't take a $200 hit. You got people playing games with $150 videos. You got people that can't spend $300 to get somewhere and come back. You know what I mean? You have to, come on, man. We, we, we gotta do better. If I say that my music is about to kill a city that's about to be the best out here, you best believe I got some serious money behind me because the music itself is just not gonna do it. And y'all need to know this. That's why when I look around and see all these prima donnas, all these, yeah, dog, I'm the best. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Hold on, dog. Let me go live right fast. I got to show y'all something. Yeah, dog, I'm out here. You, oh, oh. Hold on, dog, my manager coming. Yeah, yes, paper, plastic? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, sir, are you, are you, okay, all right. Yeah, dog, I'm the bomb. How are you the bomb? How? Explain this to me. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, 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 I'm flabbergasted. I'm just, it's, it kills me because you punch in every day, but you're the best. Come on now. Now you got people that, that, that done it, but you didn't hear about them until they done it. Then you hear the backstory like, oh yeah, they were waitresses, they were this, they were that. Y'all, this Facebook got y'all heads messed up, man, and y'all got these, what is it, grand, is delusions of grandeur. That's what they are. Look it up. Delusions of grandeur, man. Y'all just think that it's something when it's not. 
A couple of people say, hey man, you the bomb. Oh yeah, dog, I'm finna blow up. <laughs> this person that says you the bomb, probably a bum. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And you sitting up here believing that. Come on, man. Look, I done, I done kept y'all too long, either way it go, you know what I'm saying? I got a whole lot to say about that, but I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because uh, I'm really about to start sweating, man. Y'all got me down here tripping. I wanted to talk about something else. I definitely got to talk about some battle rap, but I'm gonna do that in my next one. Glad y'all, you know what I'm saying, joined in, and I'm, I'm hoping that y'all was entertained. I'm hoping y'all got something out of this because I, I, was, I was talking pretty much from the bottom of my heart. I'm serious. Black people, know yourself, okay? Quit trying to be like these other people. Look, Migos is there already. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, them is there. I mean, Yellow Beezy, that, that dude, he doing it. He he busy. He doing his thing already. He there. Don't keep trying to portray to be something that you're not. Work. Put the work in. You're going to have to put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you ain't going to get nothing. Ain't nobody finna hand you nothing. Quit saying that you finna be a gajillionaire and you got 10 cent. Stop playing. Don't play with yourself. You're going to have to invest in yourself. You're going to have to start knowing what it is that you need. You're going to have to start knowing everything about yourself. Before you even walk in a place, everything that they ask you, you're supposed to have the answer to. You understand? Okay. All right. That's it, man. I've lectured y'all long enough. Now I'm finna listen to some music. Probably gonna edit a video or two. I don't know. I may drop that Maya interview that I did because she did talk about it. I ain't gonna lie. She she spoke on it and I just held it because it was just so much going on. Everybody was just so into the fight and all that other stuff. So I didn't drop it. But in any event... Uh, I'm just saying I got it and I may drop it. I don't know. But hey, look, like I said, man, once again, getting to know, know yourself, know your surroundings and know and know what you're about. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about it. nothing else. That's it. Worry about you, period. So the first thing you need to do, first thing, the very, very first thing, learn your credit score, man. See what it is that you owe. See how if you if you got child support payments, man, see how much you owe. You know what I'm saying? Just just know these things. That's all you gotta do. Be in a no. That's it. And if you're living like it, it ain't no God, then I'm hoping you're right. Or no, I ain't gonna say I'm hoping you're right. You better be right, cause I'm living like it's a God. I don't care what you're talking about, cause I ain't I done gotten more out of these uh, 11, 12 years that I done been back than I than I have my whole life. You feel me? We ain't gonna get off into that. That's a whole different subject. And once again, I done kept y'all long enough. Let me get out of here. This is Big Homie MC Ron Skin. I'm about this bitch. You say if you catch me slipping, then.